Hi, we're here at ITU Telecom World 2013 in Bangkok, Thailand. Today I have with me Mr. Fred Matiatangi, who is the Minister for ICT in Kenya. Minister, welcome. Good to have you here. Thank you. It's a very interesting event this year. We're concentrating much, so much on embracing changes in the digital world, of course. And, but what do you see as the biggest opportunities in that change for the industry? Thank you very much for having me. Uh, one of the greatest opportunities uh, that uh, the ICTs generally uh, are provide is uh, use of technology and deployment of ICTs to improve uh, lives, to transform the way we do business, to transform governance, to transform the way we provide services to our people. We've had long discussions here uh, about how ICTs have been deployed uh, in various parts of the world to improve uh, service provision to the people and our governments have become more effective in the way they deliver services by deploying ICTs. We're having a big debate now on the deployment of ICTs in education, which is a very transformative way of uh, life to many countries, not just uh, countries from the developing world, but it's transforming lives uh, across the globe. And it's a big opportunity for all of us to embrace uh, ICTs as a way of transforming the way we do business in government and elsewhere in our lives. What challenges do you see coming with that opportunity? Well, one of them, of course, is um, the the fact that uh, in the deployment of ICTs, lives change for the better, but it causes also some other uh, disruptions or some other issues. Cybersecurity has uh, formed a big part of our discussion, for example. Um, how uh, much of freedom is good uh, freedom? And, and how much information should be shared and how do we protect ourselves? Suddenly, of course, as we go forward, uh, we're going to have to uh, discuss cyber safety as a, as a critical issue of managing the deployment uh, of ICTs. Then there's a the question of the digital divide. Uh, is uh, the deployment of ICTs improving uh, 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 our lives or improving economies across the board, or the, uh, the digital uh, uh, deployments are deepening the marginalization? So that in urban areas uh, around the world where the infrastructure is good and much more effective, you deploy uh, ICTs better and therefore you move to the digital platform faster. But in areas where infrastructure is not developed, like in most of rural parts of Africa, uh, uh, they take time to migrate to the digital platform and therefore the gaps uh, in development, in economies uh, exist and are deepened. So that the digital divide actually uh, is threatening and causing new challenges in the way in which we look at the deployment of ICTs. That's a, an interesting challenge you're, you're talking about there, but do you think, what do you think will be the big differences and big changes it's going to make to your economy, particularly in Kenya, when we get to this digital, you know, embracing of the digital services? Uh, provision of services is going to improve uh, tremendously. Um, in Kenya, for example, we are hoping that in the next uh, five months, we are going to move away completely from uh, a, a, a use of cash in the public sector. All public sector payments are going to be digital. This transforms lives. We may uh, be able to deal with uh, revenue leakages. We may be able to uh, deploy resources much better and offer services faster if we you know, go that way. And, and, and in the education sector, for example, we're moving uh, most of our education content to the digital platform, which means that we'll provide greater access to educational content and, and educational services are going to be more available to the broad sections of, of, of the country. And, and many other services. We, we, we are hoping to radically transform uh, the provision of services to the people by, by deployment of ICTs because already in the country we are creating one-stop service centers uh, where we deploy ICTs to provide services, for example, uh, in registration of persons, in giving people uh, identification documents, uh, driving licenses, and so on. So, so we see the deployment of ICTs as a huge opportunity for us to improve our service provision in our country. And coming to events like ITU Telecom World, what are the biggest benefits for you? What do you, what do you get out of an event like this? Uh, the greatest benefit is uh, an opportunity to compare notes, an opportunity to share experiences. Uh, I have had occasion to meet here with colleagues from countries that have deployed ICTs in a much more aggressive and expansive manner uh, uh, than we have done in our country. We, we have experiences to, 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 to learn from. We, we have challenges that the, uh, we can uh, draw lessons from. 
Uh, I have spent time with colleagues who have deployed ICTs in education much better than we've done in Kenya. And, and I have learned a lot about approaches and perspectives and where to invest, uh, where to put resources in terms of uh, deployment of ITs, uh, ICTs, what is critical to do in, in the deployments, and, and, and so on and so forth. So the greatest opportunity for, 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 for this particular uh, event is to enable us to share experiences, learn from those who have done it before. And, and, and most importantly, of course, look at some of the new technologies that are being deployed across the world and what, what has worked, what has not worked. We are, for example, uh, having conversations on uh, establishment of smart cities. We've had opportunity here to meet with colleagues who have worked uh, on the establishment of smart cities. And it's been very enriching to learn from their experiences, how they have engaged with investors, how they have engaged with strategic financiers for smart cities, what uh, investors would be interested in, what are the strategic, strategic things to do, and so on. It's been very, very enriching and very uh, uh, useful for all of us. Well, it's, it sounds like you've made the best of ITU Telecom World. We wish you the best in your endeavors with ICT in Kenya, and I thank you very much for being with me today. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you for having me, and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.